What will win in a drag race between a Rimac Nevera, a McMurtry Spearling, and a Red Bull Formula One car? Well, we're going to find out because I'm going to race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson, and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car wow. Now, I've got to say, this is the most exciting drag race I have ever done. The Rimac Nevera is a car that I set a car wow quarter mile world record in. I drove a prototype. Here, I'm in a production car. Now, it's got some racing seats and some extra ancillaries in it because Rimac actually used it for testing. But underneath, it's exactly what customers get. We've got four electric motors. They put out a combined 1,900 and 14 horsepower and 2,360 newton meters of torque. It's insane. Now it does have a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack and that means it's quite heavy. The Nevera tips the scales at 2.3 tons. It's also quite expensive. You're talking around two million pounds. Next to me is the McMurtry Spearling, which is the car that I actually did an even quicker quarter mile time in. So let's go over and talk to their test driver, Alex Summers. Hey Alex, how are you? Very well, thank you, Matt. Tell me about your car, the performance stats. I have two electric motors driving the rear wheels only. It produces a thousand horsepower and weighs just under a thousand kilos. And we have a 60 kilowatt hour battery, so quite a long range for this car. And we have 2,000 kilos of downforce from a fan system from zero all the way up to top speed. So that's the thing. I've got four-wheel drive, your rear-wheel drive, but you've got this fan that sucks you to the ground. You have amazing traction off the line, don't you? Yeah, we do. Depending on the road surface, we can have really, really high G-lap from zero. So how much is that car to buy? The saleable version will be 820,000 plus fat, so a million pounds in the UK or thereabouts. Finally then, let's go to the driver of the Red Bull Formula One car. Hello, Liam Lawson. How are you? I'm very well, Matt. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Thank you ever so much for bringing that Formula One car along. So you're Red Bull's reserve driver, aren't you? Ah, uh, yes, that is correct. So you should be pretty good at launching a Formula One car. Well, you say that, but I'm reserve driver. I haven't actually competed in a race, so I've never actually launched a Formula One car. What? So this is going to be your first time? Yeah, yeah, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's nuts. So Liam, tell me about your car. Give me the stats. So this is the uh, RB8, so 2012 Sebastian Vettel's World Championship car. It has 800 horsepower, a 2.4 litre V8. I have seven gears. It weighs about 700 kilos with driver and obviously rear wheel drive, so quite tricky off the line. So obviously your car is rear wheel drive, like the McMurtry, but unlike that, your car only produces downforce when you're moving. And so for launching, you have no downforce really do you? For this kind of race, I have the opposite of what I need. I basically have no downforce when launching, and then when we're going quickly, I have downforce slowing me down. <laughs> Whereas Alex, in the McMurtry, does your downforce slow you down or not at all? The only thing that would slow us down would be the small rear wing that we use as a tune, but the uh, fan won't at all, no. Oh man, it seems like the best of both worlds. Who do you think's going to win, Liam? Is it going to be you? I... <laughs> I'm not feeling overly confident for this race, let's just say that. Do you know what though? I'm feeling quite confident. I'm sure Alex is in the McMurtry, but to find out, we're gonna have to get and do it. We're gonna have to race. Now, before we do, if you're thinking about selling your car, you can do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car, pick the highest offer. They'll come to your house, take the car away, put the money into your account. It's simple. Now, if you'd like to do that now, just click on the pop-out banner up there for the link in the description below. Alternatively, at a later date, just simply Google Help Me Car Wow, and we will help you sell your car. Anyway, I'm gonna buckle up now, and we're gonna get on with this race, because I really wanna know what will win between these three cars, because I don't think it's clear cut. Oh. Yeah, yeah. This, this is embarrassing. Uh, I think I can probably do this. Yes. Let's hope uh, I'm better at launching than I am strapping myself in. Oh, before we race, we need to do the customary car wash sound check. So I'm going to get Liam to rev up the Formula One car. Liam, can you rev up your car? Uh, I would like to put earplugs in first, but yes, I think if we can, if we're allowed to do that, we can do that. So, Alex, what we do on Carwow 
If we have electric cars that obviously don't make a noise, we have to make noises ourselves. In this Rimac, I'm gonna to have to make the noise myself. So I'm gonna do some kind of engine noise. So this is my impression of a Formula One car. <laughs> So that was my impression of a Formula One car. So I know that you can actually rev the fan on your car, can't you? Yes, yes I can. Do it, Alex. Make your electric car rev, which is weird. <laughs> it's like a jet plane about to take off. Is that revvy enough for you? That is so impressive. But is it as impressive as a Formula One natural aspirated V8 revving? Over to you, Liam. <laughs> okay, okay, quite clearly that's a first victory to you, Liam. And while your car sounded pretty cool, Alex. It's not quite as cool as that Formula One car, but what really matters is the racing. So let's do it. Let's race. Now, before we race, one last thing, if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. That way, you won't miss a single upload. And we've got some crazier stuff, even crazier than this, coming soon. Oh, oh my heart is pounding. might have hit his limiter and that's when I came past him. I do not know. Oh, um, Liam, I'm going to come to you first, mate. How was it for you? I just had Matt Wilson off the line. I came up really fast. You guys took a little away from me, to be honest, that was crazy. Yeah, you weren't even in it, to tell you the truth. Alex, it was so close between us. I got a better launch than you. Then you came past me. Then I think you must have hit your limiter and I came past you. But I don't know if I did that before the quarter mile. I think you might have edged me just before the finish. I got quite a lot of wheel spin on these slicks. Well, do you know what? I always say in this game, best two out of three. Do you want another go? Yeah, let's go for it, mate. I just want to check with the stewards. Please tell me I did not jump the start. It was a good start. Woohoo! Yes! Whatever happens next, a 1-1. One, one. What's going to happen now is that Alex in the McMurtry is going to spin up his wheels before he starts to get some temperature in his tyres to reduce his wheel spin. He did not have the best of launches. So Alex, you've warmed up your tyres this time. Things could be different, couldn't they? Yeah, that's the plan. Uh, it's a part of having a slick tyre, I guess. Good luck, Liam, mate. Good luck. See if you can get a better start and get a little bit closer to us. Th thanks, mate. Thanks for the, for, the, for the confidence boost. Appreciate it. Here we go again. Come on. Oh no, he had me. My start wasn't good, I got wheel spin. Alex, I got a bit of wheel spin. Your launch was better than mine. You totally smashed me there. Yeah, it hooked up beautifully that time. Thank you. It's one each. We need to do a third race to decide who wins. Yeah, keen as mustard for that. I'm just going to go to you quickly, Liam. How was that launch for you? I think I think we'll do another one. I'm going to try and do the best I can and get as close to you guys as I can. All right, don't worry, Liam, we're gonna have another race. See how we get on. This is it, the decider. One each, I've gotta win this. Come on. Come on, no! Oh, I got a 
Crystal, come on! Come on! He's gonna top out, can I get to the quarter? Oh, Alex! Oh, your start wasn't quite so good that time, mate, which meant I just beat you. I do need to check one thing first, though. Stewards, can you just double check that my start was good? Your start was fine, Matt. Your start was fine. Alex, that's it. I got confirmation. My start was fine. Best two out of three. The Rimac wins the drag race. Yeah, fair enough. Well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> That was for you, Matty. That was for you. So then, what exactly happened? Well, the Rimac crossed the line first, just ahead of the McMurtry, though both cars did the standing quarter mile in 8.4 seconds. The Formula One car took 9.5 seconds. Just so you know, 8.4 seconds is the best time I've ever recorded in a car wow drag race, though the quickest quarter mile I've ever done was a 7.9 seconds in the McMurtry, though that was on an empty Silverstone racing circuit. To see that video, click on the pop-out banner or follow the link in the description. Okay, now we're gonna have a rolling race over the half mile from 50 miles an hour. I'm gonna call it in. Come on, Liam and Alex, get level with me. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, that Formula One car's on it. Here's the McMurtry gaining on me now. That was a lot of speed very quickly. Alex, I'm gonna to go to you first. You were gaining on me at first, but then you hit your speed limiter, didn't you? Yeah, we've still got the Goodwood gearbox, so we stop out at 150. Well, I was a little bit behind you then. I took off super quick, but I looked across and I saw Liam. Liam, you were so close to me for a while. Liam, yeah, it's a bit of a struggle running quite ahead down for us, and the couple of times where you just walked me. One thing I will say, Alex, is I know that it will be possible to get a version of the McMurtry Spearling with a 190 mile an hour top speed. That's correct, isn't it? Yeah, this one's baby brother is the Pure, uh, and that has a 190 mile an hour top speed. That's correct. Okay, so that'd be interesting. Should be as quick off the line, but have a higher top speed. Oh, we're gonna have to get it back for that. Now we're gonna have a brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, the car that stops in the shortest distance wins. Here comes the line. Everybody, get ready. <laughs> Freaking hell. That, yeah. That, that was that. First of all, Liam, I'm gonna to go to you. You won! You won, Liam! I braked so hard that I locked all four and uh, honestly nearly lost the car, to be honest, but she stops on a dime. And I've gotta to go to you as well, Alex, because really, compared to a Formula One car, you are not far behind. Yeah, that was pretty uncomfortable. I've never actually done a full stop like that, but yeah, mighty impressive. To be fair, this car is quite a bit heavier than those cars, which does affect things. But, you know, it's still stopped in a good distance for a normal road car that you can live with every day. Thank you very much, Alex. You have been a great sport. Thank you very much, Liam. This has been so much fun. And of course, huge thanks to Red Bull Racing and Red Bull. Thank you to McMurtry and thank you very much to Rimac. Though seeing as I'm now an honorary Croatian, I should say it properly. Rimac. Yasem Kral. Is you Croatian? Hopefully you'll know what that means. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Let me know what you'd like to see me drag race next in the comments below. We'll put a pink comment, get them both. Click on those windows there for some more videos. And on that box there to go to Car Wow to see how these cars, quarter mile times, compare to everything else we've ever raced. Thanks for watching.